Hey guys, here we are to take another stab at Jasper Active PowerPoint Lesson 3. What I want to do right now is setting tabs. So we're going to do Jasper Active Lesson 3, Part 6. So Exercise 6, Setting Tabs. I just shut my door. You probably heard that. Here we go. It says setting tab stops. Now, this one looks like it might be kind of fast. We need to click our tab positions. If your ruler is not showing, make sure you go to view and check the box next to ruler because you have to have it for this. So notice nothing is going to show until we actually click right here because what I'm looking for is going to be right in this spot. So in order to get the tab stop button up there, I'm going to select all the text because I want this to work on every line. So on the home tab, turn off the bullets because we don't want this to be a bulleted list. And then at the far left of the ruler right here is the tab selector. That's what we're looking for. Currently, when you hover over it, it should say this is a line left. If you click it again, notice it changes. And now that's a center. If you click it again, it's a backwards L. And that is a line right. That's the one we're looking for. There's a couple more, but I'm going to stop right there because that's what we need. Here we go. It says, once you see the right tab character, you're going to click at the ruler on the five inch mark. So right here, I'm going to click. And notice right about five inches, that's close enough. There's a little right tab mark. Do another one at the seven inch and another one at the nine inch, and another one at the 11 inch. And if they're not perfect, don't stress about it. We'll move them later. With those selected, notice that as soon as we did that, each of these tabs changed to a different line. The only thing that's not lining up now is the top row. So I'm going to click in front of the U for under 19, and I'm going to hit the tab key on the keyboard. Notice now that helps things line up a little bit better. If you accidentally put an extra tab stop in, I'll put one in right there. To get rid of it, all you have to do is click on it and drag it off of the ruler, and it disappears. So to make this top line look a little bit better, let's try holding it. So if you want to move where these things are, if I want to say move these and make them line up a little bit better, if I just click and try to move the tab, I can move it but it's only gonna move on the line where my cursor is currently selected. So I'm gonna click undo. I'm gonna highlight all of these again. And now you can move and adjust where your tabs are. That's a little too far because it goes to another line. This one I may wanna move over a little bit. This one move over a little bit. This one move over a little bit. Just adjust until you're happy with how it looks. And I think that should be good enough to submit it and get it. There's your 100%. Here we go. I'll do text boxes, using text boxes in the next recording.